Okay, here we have Charles, a classic Arnie. When Charles came to see me in 2011, he was very, very frustrated that his swimming was seriously holding him back in his triathlon events. As you can see here, he's really fighting the water, thrashing around, taking far too many strokes per 50 meters with a very, very excessive stroke rate. He really is literally bashing his way up and down the pool. His hands cross over in front of his head and that causes a significant scissoring of the legs at the back. What we're looking at at the back here is the symptom. The cause is actually at the front, crossing over in front of the head. And of course, this causes him to weave around all over the place in the water. I asked Charles what did he think was the biggest thing holding him back? And he correctly stated that it was his low sinking legs in the water. Let's take a look at how low. No matter how fit this guy is on the bike and run, he's always going to be held back by an excessive amount of drag. If that yellow line there represents the surface of the water, and this line here represents his body line, obviously our key task is to try and get his bum and legs sitting up a little bit higher. This we managed to achieve very effectively. Let's bring Charles in on his follow-up session. Now, as we can see, even snapshotting straight to this position, Charles's body position is significantly enhanced. This has allowed him to go from around about 35 or 36 minutes for 1500 meters down to 27 minutes. A massive improvement. How did we achieve that? Well, one of the things to do was to actually tame the Arnie. If we actually watch Charles from the surface of the water, you'll notice that he's no longer fighting the water anywhere near as much as he was doing in the first video clip. A lot smoother, a lot more rhythmical. From the top, there's nowhere near as much crossover as there was on the original video file, and of course this allows him to keep his legs much closer together. underneath the water, he is now bending his elbows very effectively to get a nice catch on the water and also exhaling as well as, as well underneath the water too. When a swimmer tends to hold onto the breath underneath the water, this causes lift at the front and ultimately contributes to the low sinking legs at the back. Unfortunately for all you Arnies out there, there is no silver bullet to improving your body position like Charles. What we need to do is go for a range of four or five different things to troubleshoot what is the biggest thing holding you back. And as you can see, the success here with Charles is very exciting. So, what we did was this. The very first thing I wanted to show Charles was how to improve his exhalation. We did some sink down exercises. The only way a swimmer can sink down to the bottom of the pool like these athletes are doing here is by exhaling consistently from the chest and lungs. Notice how comfortable John and Philip look here off to the left hand side of the screen. Nice relaxed exhalation sinking down. For a swimmer who tends to fight the water, holding onto the breath and being quite tense and anxious with that will contribute to lifting the, the chest and lungs very high at the front end of the stroke and causing the low, legs, low leg situation at the back. To correct for his crossover, one of our favourite drills here at Swim Smooth is a very common traditional exercise normally used to focus on a swimmer improving their leg kick efficiency or even their body rotation. This particular exercise, when done for Charles, we knew he was crossing over in front of his head. We knew that that was causing him to snake around and cause the scissoring of the legs, all contributing to additional drag. When this swimmer was performing this exercise, one key focal point of ensuring he was thinking about drawing his shoulder blades together and back allowed the arm to go from this diagonally crossed over position to being held out in front of his head. It's a very very simple drill to try and get the swimmer to think about engaging between the shoulder blades and stopping crossing over. 
Arnie is a classic for trying to pull through with a very, very deep stroke. So a straight arm pull through. The doggy paddle drill, even though focused technically a little bit more on the propulsive efficiency of the stroke, for an Arnie can still really help to improve the body position in the water. When pulling through, we want to be focusing on bending the elbow and pressing the water back behind you, as opposed to pushing down with the straight arm down towards the bottom of the pool. Just here. It's a lovely little exercise when done with the pull boy between the, the legs. The only way you're propelling yourself forward is from the action of the arms. Bend the elbow correctly, press the water back behind you, and you'll move forward very efficiently, as you can see I'm doing here. One of the other things that we did with Charles is if we just bring him back up. is some swimmers need to look down towards the bottom of the pool a little bit to help to bring the bum and legs up. Now whilst this is a common method for all swimmers to follow, some swimmers will actually find this lifts their bum and legs too high at the back end of the stroke. But typically for an Arnie, who normally lifts the head very, very high out of the water, especially to breathe, getting the eyes down towards the bottom of the pool is also a very effective way of helping to try and get the bum and legs a bit higher. So if you are an Arnie watching this, unfortunately there is no silver bullet. Charles had to work on those four or five different aspects of the stroke in turn to identify which was going to make the biggest improvement. And as you can see, the rewards are fantastic. Now that's an improvement of nearly nine minutes over 1500 meters. Again, unfortunately, I have to tell you that that took him just under two years to achieve. So this is not going to happen overnight, but the important thing is that you have a consistent approach to identify what are the key things holding you back in your stroke. So Arnie's, don't lose hope. Don't, lose, don't have that frustration. Try to tame that inner Arnie, and together we can make your stroke a lot smoother like we have done with Charles.